Still good with this number and looks like that scrape on my foot is starting to heal. Okay, outfit for the day. Um, this shirt is getting very obviously too big for me. The collar detail isn't fitting me well. These jeans seem to be somewhat stretchy. Um, they are somewhat shredded. They did not come with holes in them. And I am using one of my new belts. It's 3.37. My youngest was done with his schoolwork early. My oldest got done with everything except art for the day. And I had to run out and buy him shoes and a big, big pad of paper because his uh, eyesight ain't great and he wants to do lots of details. I got a birch box in the mail. I blacked out my info on the label. And I guess I'm doing opening. I'm not going to go full unboxing, but I'll do an opening later on tonight after everything winds down. I'm tired, and um, I'm trying to get my oldest to focus on his art stuff with that paper I got because he's supposed to get on with his dad at four and work on his backlog of schoolwork that needs done. And in and around all this stuff, aside from my usual breakfast shake, I managed to cram in a couple of the Jimmy Dean frittatas, so I'm not totally without lunch, but I'm tired, and this is a mess. I don't. I don't like how today is going. Okay, it's 514. This is the portfolio where I keep my very important documents. And as you can see, it's coming apart. So I ordered this, which is super businessy. Then you open it up. Check this out. Rainbows. I have a feeling it'll hold up better. So much fun. It's 7.44, and um, about 15 minutes ago, my kiddo got done with his scout meeting um, because I thought that it would be at uh, the regular location in masks and, you know, get the paperwork for the year, pay out the dues for the year, and no, it was not. We get there, we got five minutes before this thing is supposed to start, and the place is dark and the parking lot is empty, so... I guess I had on my face, right? Well, I thought it was going to be at the location because there had been the address of the location in the email. I think I have something on my face or maybe that's a new pimple. I don't know. Stress. Um, so it turns out that it was virtual, so I really hurriedly logged into this email I don't use except for troop track for both the kids. And um, I find the Zoom meeting stuff in there. And so I set him up with the meeting in the vehicle. And we started at home, and he did his whole scout meeting on my phone. So, in the car, and back into the house. And it's not a short drive either, right? And so he just got done at um, about 7.30. And I am up to my waist in all the old papers and stuff out of my old busted up portfolio, trying to get um, as much junk cleared out as I can. And... I'm thinking I might need a separate portfolio for some of the stuff, or, or maybe one for me, one for my kids. This is difficult. I found my um, hospital keepsake birth certificate, which was uh, interesting. I showed my youngest. My footprints were a little larger than the area where it's supposed to go, but you know what? These are still normal. So I, I always got picked on as a kid for having giant feet and Quite frankly, they're normal. What the heck is up with my family about that? Anyway, um, yeah, I found some postcards from when my dad was in Panama, which was also exactly during the time when my youngest was born. So yeah, I drove in to town to a meeting that wasn't having me. My bed is covered in papers. And I've got this birch box sitting over here that I'm going to do during my read cap and show you guys what all I got. I'm gonna go try to scrounge up some dinner because it's just kind of whatever and I didn't want what was cooked which was um I guess steakums is kind of a Philly cheese steak slices and vegetables. I'm just oh, not today. I'll figure something out. Okay so I'm gonna bring these down a bit because uh, I think they're a little obtrusive but um the one I'm gonna be sitting I 
can't really balance this thing on my knee. This is a pretty good microphone for me. Um, dinner was actually a repeat of what I had last night. So if you want to go watch my video from yesterday, that's exactly what I had. Chicken with salad with ranch dressing. So, um, I had actually gotten enough, uh, footage today that I could have just done this as an unboxing separately, but, uh, I said earlier in the video I was going to do this today, so we're doing this, um, this video. All right. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess the salmon -y color kind of shows, and my text is backwards because... Of course, I'm uh, using my front-facing camera, and I don't like to flip it. It says yes on that side. Birch box. Um, this is interesting. They actually tell me, appreciate you, Sarah. So, that's nice. And of course, you know, avoiding creepers finding out where I live. Alright, so I figured out what was up with the previous uh, video mentions about the, um, what was it, not customizing on the 27th, right? She was telling me, yeah, this is, uh, this is mailing, and uh, not really giving me a lot of heads up there. Turns out that was for the $1 box, because I used a code. I signed up for um, a one year subscription and I used a code to get my first box for one dollar. So what they were doing was hurriedly sending me a September box and then they also had me customize my October box on uh, the 27th. So that's on the way. I got a lot of emails. Um, oh that's cute. This is just like lifted straight out. It's coming open. Um, so, so, yeah, the uh, little inter interruption. The October box I did get to customize on uh, starting on September uh, 27th, and this $1 box I didn't have time to do. They were sending me emails of, uh, you know, do you want to see what's in your box? I'm like, um, yeah, yeah, I do, but, uh, why would I check into that? I want to, um, be surprised. Okay. This is really, it, it doesn't feel like it's something that you could really reuse more than once, that's for certain, but the jewelry box drawer is kind of nifty. i just take that off there. Okay, I got a note. It looks like I don't want this thing to go for half an hour. Uh, a little history of the company. We want to do things different. Oh, that's nice. Um, so I guess this is a list of the items that they sent, possibly. 10th annual customer appreciation day into a whole month. Um, activities, a bingo card. I'll take a look at that later, but this isn't a full unboxing, it's more like an opening. Um, at least that's why I guess I, sh I should watch more of these and actually learn more about it. Okay, what I got? I got, um, some items. Hang on. Sit down. I got arrow, nourishing lip oil, uh, boost. You can tell I'm not good at this. Let's see if it'll show up. Maybe? Nope. Okay, well that's what that is. Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Refining Face Mask Detoxify Plus Brighten. I'm sure I can use that. Marcel Curling and Lengthening Mascara. Dude, I, I really don't use mascara. Um, I tried to tell them this, and mostly what I did, I just kind of like push them up and 
for a good a little bit of liner sometimes. But I will give it a shot. Might as well. I mean, I got this because I want to mess around with, you know, products and not ton spend a ton of at Sephora and Ulta and get a bunch of stuff I can't use or won't use. Uh, the Renaissance Circle Hopeless Hair Extreme Repair Mask. If this is not Curly Girl Safe, I'm going to give it to my mom. She won't buy high-end uh, high products for herself. But if they're given to her, she will certainly use them. She's more than happy. So that's a that's a good deal. I am curly girl, but my kiddo, not my kiddo, family members who are not so picky. And so that's a good deal. Uh, Ico London Brow Liner in Medium. I did a colorwise.me quiz. And uh, you upload a picture and you focus these different bits on your hair, your eyes, and your skin. And depending on where the things were set, I'm either a deep winter or a cool winter. And both of them told me to stay away from browns. So hopefully this brown liner, which I also don't really use much of, I just fill in a little bit with um, some dark eyeshadow very faintly. Hopefully, you know, this will you know, up my game a bit. I'm trying. 34. I am trying to be girly for a little bit, you know? This is IT Secret Sauce. Clinically Advanced Miraculous Anti-Aging Moisturizer. I don't know. I kind of I kind of like my moisturizer, so... What do you, you have diamond powder in here? Is it not supposed to be like the strongest substance? Is that gonna tear up my skin? 207% skin hydration. Uh I'll give it a shot. Not and then I will find something else to do. Anyway, um not a bad little haul. Um, I did pick one item for my, what was it, October box. And uh, now I can't remember what that item was. That'll be interesting. Anyway, um, I don't think I can mention the time getting into this. It is 11.07. And I'm going to bed early tonight. Yay! Alright, so that's been my day. Thank you for sharing it.